Today, I got something for you that you might enjoy, but you never know. Thanks a lot for coming along with Life with Belsif. Let's see what's really going on. How you doing today? Welcome to Life with Belsif. I picked up something yesterday from my local Snap-on dealer. He just caught me at the right time. He caught me right over. Every time that guy walks up to me, he gets me. Normally it's with a flashlight though. Normally he gets me with a flashlight, but this time he got me with something else. As soon as I clean up a spot here, just because I feel like it, I'll show you. I forgot something. I'll be right back. So what he had was this little quick FX3 soldering gun, which is not butane, which you're used to. It's actually a lithium battery, and it's supposed to last for 40 minutes continuous. It's only only take 10 seconds to heat up. So I was just gonna play with this myself, but I figured I'd just video record it on and see what I can get out of it. So let's count this. Are you ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, there you go. She is 10 seconds, Jim. Wow, that's awesome. Let's try it on something. Let's solder something together just because we can. Hold on, I gotta get a piece of wire here, Captain. Here's a piece. Are you watching? Probably not. So we'll just trim that off. We'll trim that off. This wire is pretty thick, but I wanna see how well it works. So here you go, let's check it out. So we'll turn it on, we'll get her heating up. I can't believe how fast it heats up, to be honest with you. We'll hold her on here. Oh, careful. And we'll see how long it takes to uh, melt through this pretty big piece of wire. Well, she's heating up, that's for sure. Oh, careful. It's probably a bad example. This wire is pretty thick. It's not like I have it twist tied together very well either. Come on. Something's happening. Here it goes. That's pretty good. Wow. I'm impressed. Yep, that works pretty good. Cause that was a, that's a pretty big piece of wire. That there wire is, does it say what gauge it is? Probably not. Anyways, it's a pretty good gauge and it went through it. So there you go. That little machine works kind of nice, it does. But just so you know, when you turn it on, it doesn't come on. You had to hold the button at the same time. It only works when the light's on, Captain. But I wanted to show you that because I thought that was a pretty cool little item. I used to have the butane ones and you are cock and dirty as cocks. Frig. Why are you always so dirty? Tramp ya? I used to have the butane one and I didn't like it. Butane one, cocked, big time. Cause it's always out, this and that and the other thing. It's the way of the new world, everything is electric anymore. The old diesel in here is pretty friggin' dirty. I had the battery on trick and charge there because it just doesn't want to seem to keep charged. The interstate there's had, had the days I think. Not too healthy, but there's the, uh, there's where the broken wire was on my coil, just so y'all know. That's where I had to resolder it. But I did get a new coil as you know yesterday and I'll just keep that around as a spare. I was gonna friggin' send it back but I thought to myself last night, I better hold on to that. So yeah, so I held on to that. You better do that. But it's colder than dicks out today. Like it, it's, it's just nasty out today, actually. Look at it. The wind's blowing. That tree's gonna come down big time. She's had her day, she's done. So we're gonna spend the day inside I did a little bit of artwork on the computer there for you. So we should be able to get out a video here a couple days in a row. As you know, I got that girl on yesterday. Better give you a closer up look because that's what I do. I'm looking forward to your comments from yesterday's video. So hopefully you made lots of comments on that video over there because I want an opinion whether I should do this or that or the other freaking thing. I forgot to tell you there is the old uh, stereo got a little wet in the old golf cart there so it's kind of cocked over. It doesn't work anymore. I don't know if it'll do it. Let's see if it'll do it. It makes like a funny noise. If you guys know how to fix this problem, then just leave a comment down below. There you go, see? Oh, I'll stop making that funny noise now. That's not the noise. Hey, guess what? The radio's working now. Huh, but anyways, if you leave it for a bit, it goes So it means it's dickered. So, I had to, uh, my buddy Trevor there, Trevor R, not Trevor C. He's building the race car right now, which I'm gonna have to show you that because it's coming along pretty quick. He gave me uh, an Alpiner, and it seems like it's got the it's got the old Bluetooth too. Sure does. I don't know if it's a CD player though. I don't think it is. It's just a media player. Yep, which is fine with me. I like the way they have the groove there, but there's actually no CD. He gave that to me. Now the thing I like about Pioneer is if you look on the back, it tells you what the pins are for. That's very rare. 
But he does have the harness for it. It's still in the car. So once he gets the car home, I'll have to go over there and get that. And then we can slap that in the old golf cart. But I, I taped her up with clear tape. So that way the water won't splash up inside of it. So we kind of turned her into a marine radio with just your normal roll of packing tape. So that's kind of like a little hack for you if you want to know. Just If you want a waterproof radio, just tape her up. It doesn't matter if it gets hot. It don't matter if the tape melts. You know, whatever it takes. You got to do what you got to do. Friggin' right you do. But I better not lose these little things too. I better put these somewhere. I'm just looking at my little gaskets for the intake over there. Friggin' don't want to lose them. That'd be cocked right over. But anyways, this is just a real short video today. I just wanted to give you an update of what's going on. Not too much going on. But that's a pretty cool little soldering gun. If you like that, leave your comments down below. If you want to see the radio install in the golf cart, leave your comments down below. And we'll get that done for you. Oh, hey, look what comes with the... Uh, this came with a coil pack for the golf cart. Look at that thing. It is one of the freaking high quality tape measures right there. Oh, have an eye. It'll hurt you. Friggin' right it will. I just wanted to show you that because I thought that was pretty cheesy. But anyways, hopefully everybody's having a good day like I am not doing anything I ain't doing. Don't forget to subscribe and like and hit that notification. And until next time, you know what to do for now.